Obviously, Gloria and my mother had not talked because my mom had been bringing me to work since 1989. <laughs> <laughs> On those special days, I would pick out my favorite neon dress, slip into my purple jellies, and take my mom's hand as she led me into the corporate world. While at our office, some of my favorite things to do were play on those green screen box Apple computers, put the water cooler cups on my ears, and walk around the office like I was our alien child. <laughs> on one of these days, I was rummaging through her desk drawers, and I found a new addition to the paper clips, post-its, and rubber bands that were normally there. A set of golf balls. Mom, why are there golf balls in your desk at work? Uh, Lauren, um, you know how boys like to play with balls in the playground at school? Yeah. Well, um, the boys at my company also like to play with balls, and sometimes they don't want me to play. So whenever that happens, I can take these golf balls and show them to them and say, I know how to play too. My mom didn't take shit from anybody. She had <laughs> <my> balls. <laughs> calling to pushing, my mom called her mom. Physical violence is never the answer. We need to get these girls to sit down, talk, and work it out together. My mom always stood up for herself, for me, in a positive and proactive way. Fast forward to my senior year of college. I was ready to graduate. I had one more program to do as a resident assistant before the end of the semester. Unfortunately, summer fever had set in, and the last thing the freshman wanted to do was attend my sex ed dorm sponsored seminar. Horny but healthy was the name of the program. <laughs> <laughs> now I knew that that alone was not going to draw these 18 and 19 year olds away from their early naps and power hours. I needed something better, something bigger, something more enticing. <laughs> Following in my mom's footsteps, I grabbed my proverbial balls and got to work. <laughs> Having been a cheerleader for many years, I knew the power of puff paint. <laughs> the low jobs plus blank equals safe sex in bubble letters. <laughs> a greeting of anal sex question mark <laughs> in purple glitter. <laughs> when I was finished, the halls of freshman dorms sparkled with the dirty words of my marketing genius. <laughs> email blast to all of the freshmen on campus. Promoters of Wellness presents Horny But Healthy. Do you know how to put on a condom? How many students on this campus have an STD? Do you know the best way to give a blowjob? Why do guys like anal sex? If you know the answers to any of these questions or you want the answers, come to Rodney Dorm and went on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Learn how to be sexy but safe, wild but wary, horny but healthy. <laughs> As I expected, my program was a huge success. <laughs> sure, some of the students thought they were coming for group sex and they accused me of misleading advertising. <laughs> okay, I had saved them from unwanted pregnancies, HIV, and STDs one bubble letter at a time. <laughs> the end of this case justified the means. I understood that. Unfortunately, not everyone did. I was called into my boss's office the next day and was told that a freshman had posted my email on a right-wing talk radio station's website. And then they began talking about it on the air. Well, I was flattered. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my program had made it on the air. I'd gone, I'd gone above and beyond my expectations. <laughs> Until I realized that the parents of the students of the University of Delaware were about to rage. <laughs> They called the radio stations to voice their opinions, called Residence Life, and also called the University of Delaware President's Office, and I was promptly suspended. Now I was ready to rage. There are no advertising guidelines. You told me my posters were quite captivating, and I have preserved the nature, the pristine nature, of freshman genitalia. <laughs>
Mom, hello. Did you hear what I just said? Lauren, you cannot plaster the halls of an educational institution with porn. <laughs> Mom, it's not porn, it's glitter. And by the way, do you know how many of these came? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask him why there's like anal sex. <laughs> I left his office. I had let it go. And I felt by doing so, I had let a piece of myself go as well. As I uttered the words public embarrassment through the phone, and it traveled 500 miles up the East Coast to my mom, I was once again met by silence. Four or five seconds. What? The flood of inappropriate language pouring from my mom's mouth and into my ears wrenched my heart back up to its resting place and put a much needed smile back on my face. <laughs> Later that evening, she used her skills of persuasion somehow to get the president of our university's home telephone. <laughs> she called him at his house at 10 p.m. at night to list for him all of the reasons that both he and the University of Delaware were lucky to have me as a student. My mom was once again standing beside me and she had refilled her bucket of balls. 